I urge we defeat the previous question for two reasons, and I want to speak to one of them. Right now, corporations can move their tax address overseas and avoid, avoid or lower their U.S. taxes. Middle class and other typical families cannot do that at all. They can't simply change their address and lower or eliminate their taxes. Since the beginning of this year, more than a dozen large corporations have announced their plans for inversions, and yet they'll continue to benefit from being headquartered in our country, taking advantage of everything this country has to offer, whether it's our wealth of educated workers, government funding of basic research, tax credits like R&D, or our robust financial markets. And they will pay less in U.S. taxes, so much that the American tax base is expected to lose $20 billion over the next 10 years if we do nothing to address the issue. And who will make up this difference? Basically, middle-class taxpayers. And the Republican answer? To do nothing, leave town next week, or some say to wait for tax reform at some undetermined time. Republicans are taking the president to court for use of executive authority, his executive authority. At the same time, Republicans in this House fail to use their own authority, failing to do their job. Addressing this issue cannot wait. This is an immediate problem that requires an immediate legislative solution. Voting no on the previous question provides all of us an opportunity to do just that and will allow us to bring up legislation to address this problem. If you vote to move the question, essentially you're saying, I rubber stamp this inversion process where corporations essentially move their address and lower or eliminate their taxes. No one should be doing that. I yield back.